Here is tonight's digital highlights in the first half. It started out with Urkel, I'm sorry, Imani McGee Stafford getting it done for Texas. Well, she got it done. She really gave her team a good platform to step off of. She was five of five before she had her first miss, and she did it from all different places on the floor. The rip through with the left, Imani McGee Stafford showing some skills and some range. Well, she did. She has a 15 foot range, three point range, and she loves to go after those offensive rebounds for the putbacks. Monty McGee Stafford comes from a great line and had a great game, but Kansas was doing it from the outside and doing it well. Well, you know, they've moved Chelsea Gardner, their 6'3 post player, away from the paint, and she had some nice shots taking McGee Stafford out there on the perimeter to play defense. Gardner finished with 11 points off of 5 of 7 shooting, but everybody got into the action for Kansas. Well, they did. Lamaria Cole right there off of penetration, and Asia Boyd right here with a little step back move for the pull up left handed jumper. Kansas tried to keep it close. Texas headed into intermission, but to the second half we go. And of course, Texas doing what they do best is just finding that outside jumper. Well, they did a good job penetrating, drawing that Kansas defense and kicking out the shooters. But they just were so attacking the board. 22 offensive rebounds for Texas tonight. C-Rod hits the Kia Jones as I get buckets. I'm a freshman, but I get buckets. And she loves that three-point shot. Helen Towson, give me some love on the bench. But Gonzalez stepped up for Kansas. Well, she brought him back in the game in the second half, really took that Kansas back into a single-digit deficit. But too much of Monty McGee. How about the left-handed swing through for the finish? Big Baby doing it all over the court for Texas. We got the big win here over Kansas, 70 to 58. Next up, the Horn Frogs of TCU in Fort Worth, and they're the besties. Texas, a winner, 70-58. I think it's just working on my confidence and consistency, and that's something the coach has been talking to me about, looking for my own shot instead of just kind of fading in the background. So I was just trying to make sure if I had a shot to take it today. We saw a new lineup tonight for the first time. How do you feel this team uh, came together with that unit? I think it was great. I love the fact that we have depth this year, and it really doesn't matter who gets on the floor. We're all going to play, and I guess that's the best part. Like, we, There's no drop-off when the bench comes in or whoever starts. It's just great players regardless. On Sunday against West Virginia, you all had the halftime lead but couldn't hold on to it by the end of the game. For the second half of this game, what was the key to maintaining the hold you had? I think we still kind of had the same problem tonight. The difference was, I guess, our opponent and our tenacity, but we still have to work on being a second half team and keeping the same energy we have in the first half and the second half and keeping our focus. Coach Aston, you said hustle plays were the difference between a win and a loss in your last two games. What do you make of the hustle you saw out of your team tonight? I thought it was really good. We we got a little bit lethargic late in the game, but I thought up until that point, uh, you know, we were the ones that were getting all of the loose balls. Uh, we rebounded the ball better tonight. Uh, I thought we executed offense a lot better tonight. So I'm pleased with the way we played. The words you used at the half to describe what you saw from this team was patience. Mm -hmm. How do you think, why do you think this was the game where you were able to see this team display that attribute? Well, we're getting better. I, I think the road is making them a little antsy right now. Being away from home, uh, maybe the pressure of being on the road and trying, knowing that the, a road game would be a big one. Uh, we just seem to be more comfortable and relaxed at home. And that's typical of a young team, but we've got to learn how to win some games on the road too. The first time we were able to see Chastity Fazell back on the court, what did she show you tonight? I thought she looked good. I was surprised at how she looked in practice. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday was her first day back, and I, I think she looks good. She's moving well. She doesn't look, you know, she's winded because just having been out, but I, I'm, I'm pleased with where she's at. A career night for Amani. I thought you would like to know that the first question she asked me before our interview started was how many rebounds <laughs> did I have? What's your reaction well, to that? Well, we have this board that after the games, it, it's a stat board of, of goals that we have, and we get it. We have a rebound star if they get 10. So uh, we haven't had a rebound star in the last couple of games, so I, I know that she and NECA are always in competition to see, and they both got it tonight, so they'll both be on the board. 